Man, they're really dropping in reinforcements on this beacon. Look at this. Look at that. Boom, God. Like, we just shredded and dismantled. Dismantled instead of stroke. A Fenrir. My top five best war robots in the game as of June 2022. These are five robots that I think everybody should run if they want the strongest, best hanger possible. We're not going to do Titans in this video, but granted, this is the best Titan build, I think, in the game. Still... But we're going to give you guys, I'm going to give you guys a breakdown of the robot builds of the hangar. Then we're going to get into some gameplay. Then I'm going to rank them five to one. Let's start with the Kepri. So no surprise here. The Kepri's on this list. The Kepri really has no weaknesses and that's what makes it so freaking good. It's a tank, has great durability. It's hard to hit just because of how fast it can turn and move. Good speed, healing. You can boost up your teammates around you with decent firepower. No weaknesses. I like to go with the Ponchi Pilot because it's like a built-in anti-control module when you use your ability. That means you don't actually have to run an anti-control module. You can just use the Pilot and then you can run a different module. And a quick tip, I like to go for the HP armor skills over the speed skills because it'll make the Kepri a lot harder to take down and you'll still have good speed. And then weapons, you can go a couple different ways. I like Toxin and Blaze, but you can go Scatter, Magnetar. You really can't go wrong with the weapons. And I go double repair amps and a nuke amp. The double repair amps makes it so hard to take down once those things load up. It's ridiculous. And an advanced repair unit. Next, the teleporting tank, Revenant. So no surprise here either. The teleporting Revenant is an absolute beast. The combination of having immunity after you use your ability. So when you use your aggressive blink ability, you have immunity to DOT, suppression, freeze, lockdown, blast, and EMP, as well as protection from gray damage. That is OP in my opinion. And modules, same thing. Because you have that resistance, you pretty much have that built-in anti-control like you do with the Ponchi pilot. You don't need to run an anti-control when you use your ability. So I go double repair amps, nuke amp, and then in combination with like a tank drone, this thing is a monster. And this Vasilis Maximum Legendary Pilot is very good. Revenue repairs some of its durability at the end of the ability. So you're constantly healing, constant durability, absolute beast, and decent firepower. Not crazy, but two heavies, two lights. It gets the job done. Next, my favorite meta robot possibly right now in the game the cryptic fenrir or the fenrir in general there's a lot of different ways you can go with weapons but the must you have to get if you're going to use the fenrir is the bernadette wolf legendary pilot because you obviously need 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 the bernadette's stamina skill fenrir has increased durability by 60 percent and your aegis shield is deactivated it's such a good payoff you need this pilot this legendary pilot you can go different ways with the weapons, but the mace hammer seems to be very effective. Same thing, double repair amps and a nuke amp. The double repair amps work so well on tanks. And you'll notice a lot of these robots in the top five hangar all are tanks. They have tons of durability and that's what makes them so good. Actually, this isn't my favorite robot. The next one, the behemoth is definitely my favorite meta robot. You can go so many different ways with the weapons, but my favorite one is currently Punchers. You can go Smuta, but I think Smuta are honestly gonna get nerfed eventually, so that's why I go Punchers, and they're more satisfying to shoot in my opinion. We have one nuke amp, anti-control, and a repair amp, and I like to go the Andre Kasov Behemoth Pilot. You have that increase defense points when you go in stationary mode and increase speed when you're moving around. A very effective robot, and honestly, the most insane firepower of any robot in the game, excluding Titans. And then finally, the Skyros. So this is a bit of a new one because some people would put the Ravana in instead of the Skyros. But in my opinion, the Skyros is creeping into champion, champion meta league because of how hard it is to take down when it's in its ball form. In combination with like a whiteout drone, you're constantly EMPing enemies. When you're in that metamorphosis, you're super hard to hit just because of the speed and how fast you can turn around and move plus you have your immunity or defense resistance when you're using your metamorphosis it's a beast it's coming to champion league and this is a bit of a weird combination i go to nitro units because i use it as a beacon runner exclusively pretty much but if you want to make it more of a brawler put a nuke amp put a repair amplifier jack it up with armor 
and the Roberto Barras pilot. This is the newer pilot. Every time you switch out of your ability, you release a suppression blast. That is insane, honestly, but it's also very effective. So those are the five robots. Now, enough talking. Let's get into the game, and I'm going to show you guys why this hangar is so freaking powerful. Let's do it. We need boosters going. Let's get our boosters, and here we go. Let's smash robots. Okay, guys, we have landed here on Abyss map. And let's go ahead and drop these Skyros first. Because as I mentioned, this is kind of my beacon runner. The hangar is overall pretty slow with the tanks. But the Skyros will give it a boost. Also, guys, consider subscribing if you have not already. And enter our Gargantua giveaway that's going around, going on right now. Okay, let's go with this Hiroshi. Let's get this beacon. Okay, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving and capping beacons. This guy's name is Guess I'm Trash. I guess you are trash, man. Actually, this is risky. This is going to be risky. We actually... Can we get this guy? Man. Uh-oh, our health's dropping. Our health is dropping. The one downside of these Skyros is the HP is not great. Oh, we're going to die. We're going to die. Oh my gosh. That was a terrible showcase of why the Skyros is so good. That was terrible. Let's drop in our Behemoth now. And let's go with the Nebula Drone. Okay, we'll have to do another game with that Skyros. But I, I swear, guys, it's good. It's good. Kill. Boom. And right off the bat, you can already tell why the Behemoth is so good. It has so much HP. And the firepower is unmatched. Okay, this guy's taking off. Okay, this guy's hitting our shield. We also have our North Light loaded up, if you have not noticed already. Uh, we couldn't quite trigger that guy's last stand. Alright, so... Remember, because of our legendary pilot, we actually have increased defense points when we're in this stationary brawling mode. Okay, you know what? Let's move up slowly. A lot of harpies and sirens around. I did not have a harpy or siren in my top five. But you'll see... Uh-oh, hold on, that guy's taken off. You will see, when meta players face each other in Champion League... Harpies and Sirens don't hold up. Double kill. The Harpies and Sirens are amazing when you're up in your ability. But when you land, they're super squishy. Okay, let's mow down. Boom, like that. Triple kill. That Revenant missed us. There we go. Yeah, because honestly, if you're in a Kepri and an enemy's in a Harpy or Siren, you're going to go straight at that guy. And sure, he's going to deal some damage. Boom, Rampage. We just shredded a Revenant. But they're not going to be able to stop you. Man, they're really dropping in reinforcements on this beacon. Look at this. Look at that. Boom, Godlike. We just shredded and dismantled... Dismantled instead of stroke. A Fenrir. Okay, there's some damage. There's some damage. This Luchador is going to be tough to take down. Our North Light shielding is helping us, but... Uh-oh. Um, uh oh, we lost a weapon. Last stand triggered on that Mad Max player. Okay, let's cover. Oh, actually, that. Oh, nice. That Luchador died. Kill. There we go. See, after all that, it's not like the Behemoth is super high firepower and it's easy to take down. These days, with drone shielding and healing, it is ridiculously hard just to take down. Maybe a couple months ago, before the Behemoth buff, it was easier to take down, of course. And you couldn't move, but now it's a beast. Our health is getting low. Okay, we're dead. We're dead. But that, we definitely got our use of that behemoth. Behemoth is a monster. Okay, let's go Fenrir. All right, let's move here. And you'll notice on the left-hand side, as I was using in the last video, or yesterday's video, we have the Armadillo drone, which is still an absolute monster tank drone. I mean, why am I saying still? It's like, you know, nothing's changed in 24 hours. Here we go. Come on. Boom. Kill. There we go. There's a kill. The beacon bars. Wow, we're actually down a bit on the beacon bars right now. Okay, let's... Uh, we're going to have to eat some damage here. This Miramis is going to unload his weapons on us. But this is why I have the Fenrir in the top five. It has better firepower than a Revenant and is extremely, extremely durable. Hold on. Come on, we gotta kill this guy. 
Oh crap balls, we didn't kill him. Ah, let's try to get him. We're gonna cap this beacon too actually, I think. Oh, boom, double kill, there we go. And let's cap this beacon. We're gonna need this beacon. Okay, we have the beacon. Why does my team only have two beacons though? Bros, bros, get beacons. They're bringing out their titans, but I don't want to bring out the Mirumits. We're using top five robots only. Okay, there's some damage. Come on, let's get this kill. Let's get the kill. Bro, what? Who just stole that kill from us? Someone straight up just stole that Muramit's kill from us. There's some damage. And if you're thinking in your head, it's like, why is he picking the Fenrir or the Revenant? I'm not. I'm choosing both. They're both in the top five hangar. But you'll have to wait in a sec until I give the rankings. Boom, triple kill. Man, we just smoked that Revenant. We just smoked that Revenant. There we go. There we go. Man, look how low our health is. Our health is so low, but we were living for so long because of the insane resistance. Okay, let's go Capri because we need some beacons. Is my team mecking out? We're going to go Nebula, but is my team mecking out? You'll notice that most of these robots in this hangar are tanks. And it's pretty straightforward because tanks are the meta. Even the Capri is considered a tank. It's just very good at, at a lot of different things. The only one that's not really a tank is the uh, Skyros. Like, even the Behemoth is pretty much a tank. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Okay, this is risky. We just went right into the enemy beacon, and there's three guys shooting at me. Okay, we're gonna back out. We're gonna back out. Back up. Man, they have their Titans out. But I said I can't drop in the Mirmits. Unless I have to. Kill. There we go. It's 3v5. My team must be mecking out. Or somebody dropped out, man. Somebody must have dropped out. This is going to be very difficult. 3v5. Jeez. Jeez. Give this guy a, a chicken fried falafel sandwich. Can I see if we can cap this beacon? Chicken potato. Alright. Alright, boom. We have captured beacon B. We have three beacons, but I don't know if my team's going to hold up here. They have six players. Not even five. They have six. This is going to be tough. Not going to lie to you guys. This is going to be tough. Come on. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. Yeah, the one downside about the toxin over the blaze is because the blaze have a bigger clip. But the toxin kind of shoot faster. Uh-oh. We're going down. We're going down. We went down. I mean, it's kind of hard to play now when we're facing a, a full squad, a full team. Not a full squad, a full team. We got two players left. We got one teammate. Bro, we can't even do anything now. We can't even do anything. We literally can't do anything now. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Oh, we almost took him down. We almost took him down. And there's also a lot of different build or weapon builds you can use with the Revenant. You may not like the Puncher Shredder build, but you can go Flames, you can go uh, Toxin, Bane, lots of different options. You can go Sonic Weapons, there's a kill. Darn it, killed. Okay, now our Mirror Mitches are last, and I'm the last one standing on our team. And the reason I'm the last one standing is because we have that sweet top five hanger. Okay, we got some damage in, but that's it. Okay, we got good damage, but we didn't get the win. My team, I don't know what happened. We got to see here. Did my team mech out? Because that was kind of tough, man. 8.4 million, five beacons. Oh, that guy must have dropped out of my team. All right, let's go game two, top five robot hanger. Okay, we're going to go Skyros again. Let's see if we can redeem ourselves after we didn't get a great performance with the Skyros. But that's kind of how you use a beacon runner. You usually go... You, you would usually use the beacon runner first or last. So it kind of varies. Okay, let's move. Oh, actually, I was looking at the wrong beacon. There we go. Capped it now. Capped it now. All right, let's move towards... And we obviously have that scavenger skin, which is giving us 5% more durability. All right, let's... Uh, 
waddle into here. Are we gonna grab this beacon? No, we're not. Okay. I'm just gonna go straight for their home then. That's a Balgasari. Jeez, you do not see a whole lot of Balgasaris around these days. He's got Wasp too. That's a super weird build. Come on. Come on, you flapjack monkey. Kill. Uh oh. Heavy reinforcements is coming at us. They got heavy reinforcements coming straight at us, bro. Heavy reinforcements. Get a shell bot. We gotta get through that shielding. We gotta get through that shielding. Okay, let's hit our healing. Okay, we almost got him. Is that... Okay. Teammate helped me out, but he also kind of stole my heal. That's a crazy Natasha build my teammate's running. He's running rockets into thunder on his Natasha. Bro's in the, in the wrong gear or the wrong league. Double kill. Boom, triple kill. We're already doing way better than we were last game with the Skyros. I'm telling you, if you look at a, a Champion League hanger or a bunch of different Champion League hangers, a lot of players are beginning to run the Skyros. The new legendary pilot is huge. Every time we switch out of our ball metamorphosis, we suppress. There we go. Suppress both of them. And now we can move in. It's like with the whiteout drone, constant EMPs, constant suppressants. It's a nuts. Oh, he's going up. He's got that foolhardy. Okay, we gravity amplified them. Rampage! Okay, we died. We got a pretty sweet run though there. We got some beacons, we got some kills. Alright, let's go. Fenrir now. Back to tanks. Ooh, let's actually see if we can take this guy out. This is a Kepri. This is a good showdown. Kepri versus Cryptic Bernadette Fenrir. The Sonic... Uh oh, okay, this is going to be tough. The Sonic weapons are also a very good option, but I just like how the reload is so short for these shotguns. Five seconds for a full reload. Come on, come on. We're getting boosted right now, too. Boom! Killed! There we go. Just like that. Just. Like. That. What is that guy running? That Hades has pinatas and a thunder. What are you doing, man? Are you intoxicated? Why are you running a thunder in pinatas? Double kill. Is he in the wrong league? Or is he like reverse tanking or something? Oh, we actually have a five cap. We have a five cap on beacons right now. We got a five cap. Let's see if we can get this. Boom, Titan Slayer. There we go. Man, we're moving into the spawn. They just got one beacon back, but we, this thing is an absolute tank. Defender is my favorite tank in the game, I think. But the Behemoth is just so much fun. Rampage! Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep chewing through these guys. Come on. There we go, last day and triggered. Their beacon bar is absolutely getting drained. Drained! Getting drained like a bottle of soap. It doesn't even make sense. We almost got this invader. Come on, we almost got him! Boom! Godlike! There we go, and their beacon bar is just about... Can we kill this guy? Oh, we didn't get to kill him. There we go! Two games, we got one win, one loss. But we got... The Skyros Redemption that game. So there it is. That is my top five robots in the game. 3.3 million, five beacons. Not crazy damage, but it was because the game was so short. So my five rankings for the robots is Ke Kepri first, Fenrir, Revenant, Behemoth, Skyros. Agree or disagree? I'll put that up on the screen, but that is my rankings. I think the meta is very heavy tank robots right now. The Skyros is also very good for capping beacons. And then the Behemoth is just so much fun and has so much firepower. Until next time, peace. Chicken SpaghettiOs, agree or disagree with my top five rankings. See you guys next time.